Hello YouTube. So I just wanted to come out here and do a progress report on the uh, babies. So most of them are not doing quite as well as I had hoped. Um, you can probably see just from even this shot that the leaves are quite small and um, they're being buffeted by the wind all the time. So I can't train the vines any which way because they're just going back and forth and back and forth and being tumbled all over. You can see this vine here, it's all twisted on itself because it keeps getting pushed one way or another. These two were the ones that I thought were going to be uh, the best vines but they have yet to produce any pumpkins yet. I've got no more female flowers on this one. They've been, ever since about this point, uh, it's been producing female flowers, but every single last one has died. And some of them looked pretty good too. So all the female flowers have died on this one. She's not sending out too many secondary vines either. Is that it? No. Uh, the, the leaves up top are starting to yellow from age. This one also has not produced any fruit. I've got a new female flower over here. So we'll see if that one can open. It's got a little, starting to get a little bit of protection from the uh, orange tree. Same thing over here. You can see that one a little bit better. That uh, flower is protected from the sun for a good amount of time. So hopefully we can get something to open and produce pumpkins on these three here. This one so far is the only pumpkin that is going for it. Um, but if you can see at the, the belly button over there, it looks like it's actually starting to turn orange already. So uh, that's that's about the size of all the pumpkins that I've been getting so far. I don't have a big hand. And that's the size of the pumpkins that I've been getting so far. My soil sucks. It's all sandy soil. The weather is hot all the time. And the pumpkins just aren't getting a chance to get going. See, even the, the, the female flowers that look like they're going to take off, um, they just start dying. So you can see this one's starting to yellow. And it's a little squishy. So there's another one coming up right behind it. We'll see if that one can can get anything going. We're already getting kind of late in the season. Previous pumpkins, uh, pumpkin patches, I've been able to harvest the earliest pumpkins in a couple of weeks. Uh, this is the one that I had hoped it was going to give me a good sized fruit but these are already turning orange or they're orange now but they don't have they don't have their skin yet they haven't toughened up so basically just gotta wait for them to develop their skin and then they're, they're see over here the stem starting to look a little um, a little bit dry not not really all the way dry but just a little bit and they do sound hollow so again that's the size that I'm getting this year and this is from the <laughs> this is from the jack-o'-lantern sized plant <laughs> down here. So I've got 
these two. Again, they look like they're starting to orange up. Tiny, 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 tiny pumpkins. Um, this is from the sugar pie size. Uh, this one hasn't put on any size in a while. Let's see. There. See, and then same thing over here. Even flowers that I'm sure are going to open. Nice big flowers. They just shrivel up afterwards. This is my best one for the year so far. So it does not look like it's starting to ripen. It's still going. It's maybe a little bit bigger than my hand. And this one is from the sugar pie sized pumpkins. So that's about average for sugar pie. So that's definitely been my best one so far. And then we've got the melon. I did finally get a melon. It's funny because that one, when it first grows, it grows oblong, like a football. And now it's been rounding out little by little. So I was convinced that whatever seed I got, had gotten was not a cantaloupe. But no, it's it's a cantaloupe. It's just, I've never seen them grow. Um, so if you recall, I had then put a late experiment down with the pumpkin plants, with the core and the manure, and I'll show you guys that one right now, because if I'm gonna get any decent sized pumpkins, it's gonna be from this guy, because check him out. <laughs> he exploded. This guy's about three weeks old. They've got vines coming down over here. Uh, this one's excited to get started because She's got two uh, female flowers already out. Right there, too. And I see a third now. Right over here. I don't know if you can see that properly. Uh, none of the others have any female flowers, but yeah, that one's just excited to get going. So, so far the only thing that I have put here is some magnesium, some Epsom salts. And uh, that really greened them up a bit. Um, it's just been going off of the uh, manure that's already in there. I don't know yet if what, what I've decided on uh, fertilizing them or not. I put down a very thin thick layer of um, mulch on top of them so you can see how long it takes to get to the soil right there and actually you can see some very nice roots right there I don't know if you can see that this is not the best camera so, I know pumpkins have shallow roots um, so I wanted to make sure I protected that. And I have only watered this maybe once a week. And it seems to be doing very, very well like that. Temperatures get very high and I very infrequently see wilting. So if I get any good pumpkins, it's going to come from this guy. Um, if I fertilize, I'll just be doing the fertilizer that I did for the others. Uh, with the uh, manure tea and that'll be once a week because I know how heavy a feeder these guys are and even though there's two-thirds manure in here I don't I mean it's not like I can test the soil while they're still growing so I don't know what they're going to be doing um, I don't really want to wait until they stop growing as well as they have been because now all my eggs are in one kiddie pool because uh, you've seen the results of the other ones. They're, they're pathetically small. So, um, that's about it, I guess. So, nice.
10 minute long video. Um, yeah, whom have I not seen videos from yet? I know there's somebody that has sort of fallen behind on videos, just like me. I guess this is sort of the dull drums of summer, the dog days of summer. You want to sit down under the shade with a glass of lemonade and not do anything. Definitely, definitely feel that way right now. But uh, we'll get through it. We'll get through it and we'll get some nice pumpkins one way or another. All right, good luck to all of you. See you next time.